So I see the depth of your practice. You have such a good voice. Well, I, I was noticing when you were chanting yesterday, uh -huh. um, your voice, um, there was all kinds of interesting vibrations, energetic, coming from different places. Uh -huh. Kind of strange, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't just maybe after one year or two years, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, something you cannot do, but with the changes what with your own practices, you'll be able to do many positive things. That's what I believe, mm -hmm. okay? Um, make sure uh, whatever uh, your ankle, you, you stack your ankle, perfect. Mm -hmm. Stack your ankle below your knee, mm -hmm. perfect. Now this is good for me, mm -hmm. okay? Now back is straight. You want some cushions? Good enough. Mm -hmm. So back is straight, shoulders relaxed, and this is a good posture. So instead of these chairs, this is the best mm -hmm. to practice at home also. Okay. I will be sitting in my vajrasana. This is a kind of uh, uh, one of the best, one of the good asanas to do many practices. Mm -hmm. So siddhasana, lotus pose, uh, like the uh, the heel on heel, left heel, right heel on top. That there are different asanas where, where you can use them, uh, them for uh, lengthier practices. You can meditate, you can chant, you can sing, whatever, mantras, mm -hmm. all of that, okay? So here, yesterday we, uh, we did the one, right? Mm -hmm. Two, three, four, mm -hmm. and five, mm -hmm. good job, and six. So we did total five yesterday. Mm -hmm. Inhale, go up, exhale, come down, mm -hmm. right? You want to try one more time yesterday's? Sure. I will also do with you. Okay. So it will be recording for you, okay? okay? So right and left. So center is in the center. You're moving to the right and moving to the left. So this range of motion uh, the movement elbows out back straight shoulders relax vision in the forward or oh, the best one close your eyes withdraw of the senses perfect good job now come to the solar same thing right and left Right and left. Come to the heart. Okay. Now come to the thyroid area, the pit of the throat. Mm -hmm. Good one. And see if you can open your elbows a little bit. If your body allows you with your muscle movement, muscle flexibility. Okay. So like. Like if, if your elbows are like this, maybe just to your mind. Okay, open up, open up. Mm -hmm. And loosen up here, lock, into, lock very nicely and interlift them. And get a nice grip here so that you can enjoy your movement. And see, observe if you can hear your own voices here. Now come to the back. How, what do you do? You support the C1 to C7 mm -hmm. first here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the way. Your thumb is down mm -hmm. to the close to the C seven. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now elbows out. Bring them out. Chest forward. Lift higher. And right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after this, what we did? We went to the inhale. Look up, chin up. Inhale. Engage your muscles all the way from your shoulder. Visualize your lower back. Hold your breath. You know the four steps from the day first. Four stages of the breath. 
Now exhale with a nice control. Exhale, engage all the shoulder girdle muscles. Exhale. Inhale. Now this is your internal kumbhaka. Cut it up. Did you remember? Yeah. The four stages? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is your internal kumbhaka. Hold. Retain. Now recheck. Exhale. And now what do you call this one? External yeah, kumbhaka. External. Like right? Yeah. External retain. Starts with a B. Bahir <laughs> kumbhaka. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. That's Kumbha. a Bahir kumbhaka. It starts yeah. with the B. Right. Good job, Doc. So this, this is the very yesterday's mm -hmm. session. If, it's, if right. we are going to delete our yesterday's right. video. Okay? Great. Now, today. So now we are, so yesterday we did the locations. Now today we are going into the rhythm and flow and engagement. Mm -hmm. Okay? So let, let's do this again. When I am sitting, my heels are touching to the, touching to each other, and my butt, mm -hmm. my glutes are sitting nicely tight. Mm -hmm. So they are all connected in the back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now back is straight, shoulders relaxed, engaged, and we will start with inhale. So this is your all inhale. Good job. Now exhale. Good job. Interlace nicely. Good job. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Reach, 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 reach. So the way we reach, we engage into the all the pectoral mm -hmm. muscles, okay? Our pectoral as well as the back muscle. Mm -hmm. So the shoulder, our ball and socket, this is one of the best joint in the body actually with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with the stability if we see it, this one and this one. But me, I feel bad for me because it's not that stable like our hip and our mm -hmm. shoulders are, right? So we need to always take care of knee way better than our other joints in the body because they are stable. Look at this, mm -hmm. carrying everything, <laughs> right? Yeah. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. So uh, you got this one? Yeah. The whole movement. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. it's very easy. Even if you close your eyes, you will remember your day first, day second, day third, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. So I will keep it simple for you. No much. No stress, no tension, you just enjoy doing that. When I do... Your, wherever your inhale is out, means wherever you finish your inhale, just stay there. You don't have to just yeah, reach. No, I'm, when, I'm, when we were doing the first set from yesterday, uh -huh. like when you said do this, uh -huh. and then... Yes, I, I told you to... Uh, part, and then we, you added this thyroid yes. level um which is but i when i start i start feeling tension in my neck uh -huh. mm -hmm. i don't know tension in, instead of again like we are using the muscle yeah we are I mean, using the body now yeah. so when you are using the body mm -hmm. or shaping the body mm -hmm. or thinking about the muscles mm -hmm. we are talking to the muscle now you are mm -hmm. talking individually to that mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So you're engaging, you're connecting, you're strengthening, you're lengthening, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, lengthening. And then with all mm -hmm. of these moments with it, your prana, which is our source of energy, mm -hmm. or which is our identification, right? Yes. My identification is only my breath, mm -hmm. right? So with that, we are trying to go and again bring the healing on the muscular level also. Mm -hmm. So that internal retain is the best healing for us. That's what our yogic principles and our Ayurvedic uh, way of thinking and practicing is. Yeah. But I need that smile on your face when you're doing that. Yeah. Just, no, do not stress yourself. I know. 
just do what your body allows you at the present time okay mm -hmm. all right so good enough yes. now the second one maybe see if you can uh, if, you, if you will be able to do it so interlace if you can okay exhale bring your elbows close to each very well no more fighting okay inhale smile on the face good job inhale chest forward open your heart area chest area elbows out as much as your body allows you exhale very slowly nice systemic rhythmic breath is required here for you doc I really want you to do enjoy the maybe the breath maybe for the count of four or six or eight that you decide where your body is inhale open up engage your armpit elbows out as much as you can exhale Inhale. Very good. But are you seeing my the way I'm doing it? Can I see yours one? Mm -hmm. I will just I will not do. I will just watch it. No, 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 no. Very slow. No, I'm starting from here. Okay. From beginning. Okay. okay. Exhale and see. I don't want that sudden like this. No. Very slowly. Very slowly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice, long, systemic, rhythmic, with a conscious practice. Very good. One more time. This is where the Ayurvedic approach for preventative, mm -hmm. but now this is not a preventative approach for us, mm -hmm. but that's where we understood Ayurved Ayurvedically or in Ayurvedic culture and yogic culture, that if you practice all of this, maybe in the future you will not have any problem. So do it today, now, do it every day so that you will not fall sick. That's what Dr. Vasablat's the main teaching is mm -hmm. yeah. so the thing is like making the body aware healing the body on the day-to-day -day basis is the base of our mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so preventative approach progression in the health and wellness and personalization the way you have the challenges at the present moment the way we will be practicing that is the be in Ayurveda personalized individualized approach mm -hmm. okay yes. so this is the dedicated so here our more attention uh, is in the deeper muscles in the back rhomboids this mm -hmm. is where i would like you to connect more mm -hmm. got it now the second one will you be able to do some rotations here can we try a little bit well where do you i need to see it I okay i will show you first okay so uh, what i will do i will not do the full rotation today okay mm -hmm. we'll just do half have mm -hmm. a moment here okay so because you have a lot of restrictions in your shoulder area mm -hmm. so inhale and bring your elbows up to the sky good job up to the sky look up chin up chest forward see again four stages exhale slowly systematically rhythmically exhale with a nice control bring it down and back very good inhale bring it up with your breathe in inhale elbows up look up chin up 
hold this is your ant kumbaka internal retain hold exhale systematically and rhythmically rechaka and this is called it as a bahir kumbaka external hold retain so this this is good enough for you to, for today's session. Yes. Okay. So moment now you yesterday's and today's you are going to do it together. So you will have at least ten fifteen minutes of this whole set. Okay. I, I if I am you are on the ground I will extend this to this one. So like pushing pushing the earth and reaching to the sky. Mm -hmm. If you want if you want to try that there or maybe on the bed, you can do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So check it out. Okay. Don't fall. Okay. Okay. So push the ground. Push the mother earth as much as you can. I lift the sky. Re lift the sky on your palm. Lift. 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 Other one. Reach. Push and reach. And in that one, you are extending your body. Extension of the spine. Reach, 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 reach. Press, 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 press. Hold. And down. Okay? Maybe you can try this in the bed at the present moment. I have in my meditation room, I sit on them. It's raised about this high. Uh -huh. But it's wide enough. So that you can sit. That I could put yeah. A hand yeah, down there. Yeah. Then let's do one more time. Then. Right. If you have something at home yeah. where you can sit properly and do it properly, mm -hmm. then you can do like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So inhale, reach, and here push and reach. Right hand up, hold the sky. Push with the left. Extend, expand as much as you can. And release. Inhale. Four stages. Good job. Make sure, okay, be, be aware you're doing it on the chair. Hold. Hold the sky. Push with the right. With the hand on the ground. Push and keep your back. Look up, chin up, chest. Up and release. Any questions? Too much? Manageable? No. Hmm? Manageable? I think so. It's hard because it hurts my shoulders. But it's okay. Just yeah. ignore that hurt now. Right. Okay? I, I know it's not meaning. There's nothing about the pain that suggests it's dangerous. It's just a sensation. Depends whether the pain is good or bad. Let's right. forget about it. Even right. the medicine, forget about everything. Right. Let's do the moment. Right. <laughs> because you are a doctor. I'm an Ayurvedic doctor. <laughs> we know the whole modern medicine approach, you know, Ayurvedic right. approach. But here, what we are doing, Ayurvedically, let me explain right. it to you. Okay? Vata. Mm -hmm. Right? Yesterday, when you went to the physical therapist, you were having all these funny mm -hmm. sounds. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the, the moment in the body is bringing by whom? Mm -hmm. Right? So here you are, you are opening up the channels. Mm -hmm. See, the way you have restrictions, congestion, contraction, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. protraction, all of that, when you, you, when you see that Forget about even all these names also. Mm -hmm. It's just like I want to expand my body. That's where I'm taking you now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now it's closing. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Yesterday when we took the pictures, you remember? Mm -hmm. Right? Like your hands. When we uh, took some pictures right. and this. Your body, like you avoid. Mm -hmm. So you close. You, mm -hmm. you feel more safe with the closing. Mm -hmm. Right? Expanding it. And now you are doing exactly opposite. So mm -hmm. you are going to feel that. Mm -hmm. For sure. Right? Expand, open. Mm -hmm. Expansion. Which will give the direction to the vata also. Mm -hmm. So through the massage and all of the act, what we are doing in the 
detox and cleansing and the, uh, the physical body work, mm -hmm. um, it's more like going through the skin. And skin is again one of the major sensory organs. Right, oh yes. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Sensations. Again, we are going to the concept of mm -hmm. Ayu, life. Mm -hmm. Ayu means Sharira Indriyartha Atmana Sanyoga. Indriyartha Sanyoga. Mm -hmm. Sharira Mana Atma Indriyartha Sanyoga. Mm -hmm. And today, theological, whatever that layers you were mm -hmm. telling me, mm -hmm. theosophical layers. Mm -hmm. Atma, mm -hmm. Mana, Chitta, Buddhi. Mm -hmm. Again, many things comes, but here mm -hmm. we are talking in the Ayu, in the mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Sharir means physical body. Atma means soul. soul right? Yes. <laughs> the seed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mana. Mind. Mind. And Indriya Artha. Indriya Artha. Indriya mm -hmm. means sensory mm -hmm. organs. Artha means their work, mm -hmm. their action, mm -hmm. their job. Mm -hmm. I must have to look. Mm -hmm. Smell. Mm -hmm. Like that. So mm -hmm. that is their function, action mm -hmm. for the body. And that is, and when these are all nicely working together, mm -hmm. is your uh, journey. Got it? Mm -hmm. And Ayurvedic uh, uh, concept of swasthya is coming towards the uh, balancing and keeping everything dosha, dhatu, mala, uh, indriya, uh, all of these in uh, malas also, you know. Mm -hmm in a proper way in the body balancing then is the swastha that means health mm -hmm. not the absence of the disease right wellness in all of this is the health mm -hmm. okay yes. so is your ankle okay today a little bit pardon ankle is a little okay oh the ankles don't bother me and the knees, knees. Uh, yeah. yesterday we did a lot of Svedana therapy on right. the knees along with the massage mm -hmm. uh, and mama. So at least maybe, um, maybe do you feel a little lightness there? Yeah, when I left yesterday I could t definitely feel something changed. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, I'm getting able to stand longer really? but, but but the there's still a lot of crepitance in the mm -hmm. joints mm -hmm. and it doesn't hurt when I do that it just makes all these crunchy noises that means called it like popcorn sounds right. you just say like popcorn yeah. sounds. so so uh, so uh, in in our uh, dosha mm -hmm. aggravations mm -hmm. this is a vata aggravation mm -hmm. again joint is a with the way we okay, understood right. the pathophysiology about your challenges mm -hmm. again we are thinking a lot about vata dosha also okay mm -hmm. so any questions so i will finish this with the a u um mm -hmm. separately mm -hmm. so you connect yourself i will do mine you do yours and we'll finish this yoga session okay so in the mark internally or out loud loud okay yeah because Internally, you, you decide that for yourself, right. but I want your vibrations to match with this. Okay. That's where I want you. Mm -hmm. So let's enjoy the physical body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So you decide that. <clears throat> and you know where to focus, where to connect, which organs you are focusing, which chakras you are connecting, all of that remember from yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay.
away from my bed, put them in. And that's it. And this is the way, uh, whether whatever you will do during maybe on the chair, on the bed, wherever mm -hmm. your composition is about doing yoga, mm -hmm. you practice like this way. Mm -hmm. How many times we should eat? Eating, mm -hmm. right? The like see, as you are holding so much weight, okay, the the best rule for eating habits, Ayurvedically, specifically considering the kapha imbalances, mm -hmm. okay, I will suggest you feel the hunger mm -hmm. before you eat. Let that sensations come to you. Enjoy that saliva, enjoy that, you know, mm -hmm. all these, uh, hey, I'm really hungry now, I can't wait mm -hmm. until that moment. Okay? Just don't eat because it's a time to eat or just don't eat because I'm bored to eat. I'm bored and I will eat. Okay? So this is the first rule of Ayurveda. That listen to your body, feel the sensations and if you feel hungry, eat. If you do not feel hungry in the morning, skip your breakfast with your challenges, with your things. And then maybe around 11, 11, 30, 12, when you do all these practices, your own practices, your own Buddhism practices, you are uh, surrounding in the house chores and things like that. Then if you feel hungry, like 11, 30, 12, 12, 30, eat. Maybe in the morning you have a nice tea, what we are discussing. You can have some teas, warm water and this. And if you feel good hungry, around 10, 10, 30, 11, eat your lunch. Right? So, but yeah. listen to your body. Mm -hmm. So, not what I'm saying. Right. Let your body call. Give the Let the body give you a call about the hunger sensation. Okay? So, easy to understand. Second one. Quantity. And should I eat in the evening also then? If I'm hungry. Yes. If I'm absolutely. not hungry, skip it. If you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. See. Now we have trained the body in such a way, mm -hmm. right? It might take a big challenge, but eat very light. Okay. So main food, main meal, big meal, whatever we call it in our culture mm -hmm. also, big meal in the day, right? Mm -hmm. That's what many of our people also call it, right? No, actually that is supposed to be, but many of my clients do it, um, skip the lunch and eat the bigger meal. Uh, bigger dinner. Mm -hmm. That's what I observe a lot in the practice. Mm -hmm. Because skipping the meal, saving the time so that going home is easy, like that. You know, whatever the rest their surroundings are. And then eating the major food towards the end of the day. I, I usually eat more in, well I'm retired so I don't have to worry about that. Uh -huh. I eat more in midday. Yes. Less at night. Yes. Because sun comes in the Yes, and that's exactly many times we, cha we get challenged with. Mm -hmm. Exactly that's what it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, the timings, right? Mm -hmm. Ayurvedically, if you see, 10 to 2, 10 to 2 is the Pitta time. Mm -hmm. So, eating in the strong Pitta time, Pitta time starts around 10. Mm -hmm. But strong, when is the term strong in the nature? Mm -hmm. Ayurveda is all about nature. Right. So, it's look out and eat. Now, in today's weather, it was very muggy, like it was like, mm -hmm. you know, very dullish and this in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. How many sensations, what kind of sensations your body will crave for today with this weather? Something liquidish, mm -hmm. something soupy, something light, mm -hmm. something warm mm -hmm. weather, mm -hmm. right? Psychology, physiology and weather. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like that. So you, and another one more thing I will suggest you. Uh, we drink water, right? Mm -hmm. So here we have a mandagni. Agni, mm -hmm. manda. Mm -hmm. Manda means slow. Mm -hmm. So our metabolism is slow, our challenges mm -hmm. are different. So in that case, if you would like and if you want to involve one more thing, I will suggest you. Uh, if you have a one liter of water boiling on the stove top, mm -hmm. not in the microwave, <laughs> <laughs> then I want you to see if you can boil it to the half or 30%, minimum 
40, 50, half will be good. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, see, whatever uh, time you, you have for yourself, boil it. Let it cool off and drink it lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Okay? See if you can take that uh, heaviness from the food or from the water, from the things, whatever you are going to put it inside and give the ease to the stomach. Mm -hmm. So do you drink liquids while you eat? I don't as a rule, so. Okay. But should you or drink liquids? Because I always thought it diluted the gastric whatever, so. That is exactly right. So either you, when you are eating the food, Vata Pitta Kapha all will have some different angles. Mm -hmm. But with Kapha, maybe a little bit ahead of, uh, sorry, uh, with, with the Kapha, I will suggest skipping the water intake with the food. Mm -hmm. Because already we have a low digestion, slow digestion, mandagni, challenges, uh, this and that. Mm -hmm. So with the food itself, we are going towards the energy, you know, the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the heaviness is going, like, a lot of things are coming in, right? Mm -hmm. If you dump water on top, top of it, then it will be more like a kind of slowing down everything. Okay? And this is a very earthiness, right? Mm -hmm. With your body constitution, with the challenge, it's more like a kapha, kapha combination. And kapha is more like a water and? Earth. 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 Right. Okay. So when there is an earth outside, Okay, now this is physical body, but let's talk about the nature. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is an earth outside, right? And it, when it rains, mm -hmm. what happens? It gets wet. I don't know what, what are you trying to say. Exactly. <laughs> Muddy. Here you dirt. go. That yeah. is the word I was waiting mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we do not want more mud. We want to we we do not want to increase and enhance our challenges. We don't want to be too muddy. Mm -hmm. Now slowly, slowly, we want to go back to our nature. Mm -hmm. What was our nature before? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's where our intention will be. With all the practices of lifestyle, way of living, way of eating, way of thinking, way of doing, whatever, mm -hmm. any way of practicing therapeutic yoga, Ayurvedic yoga. That whole intention will be my wellness. So when you're talking about a liter of water, drink that in between. No, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, wherever yeah. you are thirsty, like that. Right. Not yeah. along with the food. Not with the food, in but, between, yeah. But if you're eating something and you really, really, really are craving for the water with that food, mm -hmm. then don't even right. avoid that. Right. Because let your body feel it, no? Also. Mm -hmm. But logically, that is practical knowledge and medicinal knowledge and this knowledge. Mm -hmm. But again, where you are, what is your current requirement? Right. If you eat a bunch of chilies and I said, oh, you should, a couple of people should not eat the water with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the food. And you ate two chilies and you're waiting for, oh, uh, Ayurvedic person said like this, I should not drink water. Your tongue will be burning, right? You'll be burning inside. So that is where your intelligence, buddhi, right. is going to come mm -hmm. in. Yeah. Got it? Like that. And then, so, you had given me this stuff that was more like a snack, it's that dry, Okay. Mm -hmm. with the bean sprouts mm -hmm. or the whatever. So should I eat anything between the meals or no? Just eat that with the Again, meals. if you feel hungry, yes. Mm -hmm. Again, if you do some physical activity or if mm -hmm. you do something which you never did before, you walk for five miles. Mm -hmm. you, uh, yes. <laughs> Not five, but yes, you mm -hmm. will be able to. Mm -hmm. Are you walking now? At least start yeah. walking inside the house. Okay? Uh, yeah. uh, like, like you say, like you were walking only five steps and that was also painful. Mm -hmm. Now start walking inside the house 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. See, uh, divide that uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes walk in your hallway or somewhere where you have space in the house or around mm -hmm. uh, and see if you can at least do 5 minutes of 10 sets or 15 minutes of 4 sets or 20 minutes of 3 sets.
see if you can divide your day of the time and see if whether your body is remembering or doing or you are able to do it. Maybe involve that also from today. If you are at home and mm -hmm. you know, uh, and uh, you, if you have, if you are not busy and have time, do it. Mm -hmm. Five minutes after five minutes, what will you feel? Oh, okay, I'm tired now. Okay, just sit. Then again after ten minutes, if you feel energetic again, okay, I'm again walking. Okay, and if from five minutes, if you go to seven minutes, right? So like that, just mm -hmm. keep your physical body and give a movement. Mm -hmm. We need that movement here. Okay. All right. What was the other question for me? Quantity, timings, leftovers. Yes, leftovers, that's right. Right? Ayurvedically, if you want to understand the concept of leftovers, mm -hmm. Ayurveda has such a beautiful concept of sattvic food. Sattvic food is like the food which brings a lot of clarity mm -hmm. yeah. on the physical body, mental body and mm -hmm. levels of the body. Mm -hmm. And here with the sattvic food, it's so easy. People say and our yogi culture says and our practices prove uh, that it's it's more, it's more uplifting to you to attain wherever you want to reach in your spiritual practices. Mm -hmm. That's where the sattvic concept mm -hmm. comes in. Sattvic food means when you are done with all these your morning rituals around 9.30, 10, you are done with everything, then you start cooking the food for yourself. So around 9.30, 10, you, when you will start cooking, 10 to 10.30, 11 will be your cooking time for yourself. And around 12 or 11.30, like once you are cooked, 11.30, you might be with all this smell and this uh, sensory pleasures, mm -hmm. you'll be hungry. Oh, this smells so good. Mm -hmm. my, my saliva will be drooling with, with that kind of smell. Okay, now I'm hungry. 11.30, if you feel hungry, the same warm food, what is right on the stove top, not in the microwave, stove top, mm -hmm. then you are ready to eat. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, when you cook around 10, 10, 30-ish, there is no concept of reheating the food in the Vedic culture. In the Vedic culture, you cook and you eat. The fresh, right? Fresh, mm -hmm. hot, warm. Mm -hmm. But in our culture, it will be a big challenge. So at least you cook and eat within two to three hours of span from that cooking time. So when you give me the food in the containers, I eat some of it when I go home mm -hmm. immediately, but then the rest, the rest has to be now you have to re -warm them. heated again, yes. Yes. and so you don't like the microwave, I gather, so. <laughs> no, I don't like the microwave, it's not that thing, mm -hmm. because now there is also research, my other mm -hmm. psychiatrist client, mm -hmm. uh, doctor client told me that uh, micro, the, hence the research proved mm -hmm. that microwaves are okay to use mm -hmm. uh, for cooking purposes mm -hmm. and uh, eating for, like mm -hmm. warming purposes. Mm -hmm. Do not add a stress on yourself. That's what I can say. Right. Well, I mean, so, but I'm he I'm heating food that was. Cooked. I generally do it on the stove. Right. But in the pan. But I was he I'm eating food that was cooked earlier in the day. Yes. So, and then, as I told you, for the past two days I've had... That, uh, that we will talk. But the concept, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The concept is, you cook the food and you eat the fresh. Mm -hmm. Within the three hours, if you eat it, that food is the sattvic food, which right. brings the clarity in the mind. Right. And that food becomes the rajasic after three hours. Okay. And if you eat the food, morning food in the later in the night, it's a tamasic Thomas. food. <laughs> you got it? Yes. That is yes. the concept. Mm -hmm. But see, in our culture... How many times we have with this ease on us to do all of these things. Mm -hmm. Again, stress equal to the... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, stress? Stress equal to the... Well, it's, it's Thomas. Right? Thomas yeah. or Rajas or stress equal to the unhealth. Right. And ease equal to the health. That's what I will say. With our social, with our environment, mm -hmm. with our day-to-day... Uh, hectic mm -hmm. lifestyle the way I would like to involve and teach my clients mm -hmm. is like 
keep your soul stress free. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. I think I answered all of your today's questions. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you have uh, more questions, bring it tomorrow. We'll discuss tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I wanted you, if you could, on the recording. Yes. So I have it to um, review. Yes, I'm recording all of this, so you right. will have this recording. Right, but I mean to review the when we were talking about the ah oh um. Oh, you want that? Where the which body parts? Okay. So I have it. In the recording, so I know. Okay, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, not today though. Okay. Okay. Right. Because I will give you two to five minutes because I want you to practice this one more time. The day first, I want you to go on the wall. Do you remember the day first? Going to the wall, coming back. Oh. Going to the wall, coming back. Right. Mm -hmm. Then second day, on yes. the wall. Right. Then third day, mantras. Right. Fourth, today is the fourth day or fifth? Fourth day. Today's session, you remember pretty well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so I will give you five minutes to practice all of this mm -hmm. and then I will take you for the okay. shoulder work today. Don't worry, okay. I will not hurt you. Okay. Yeah, I will not hurt you. Give me a second, I will turn it off. Do we need to move? Yes, I will move that for you. Yeah. I will move this one because this one is bigger and you have more space, but there mm -hmm. is a wire. There is a wire.